You are the sunshine of my life. That's why. Hi, and welcome to another edition of Sunshine Matters, brought to you by the Sunshine Residents and Ratepayers Association. Our Street Talk segment this month is from the open microphone at the second Eddington meeting. There's a call to close down the circus, and our music this month is from the Sunshine Sound sculptor Herbert Jercher. But first, some call him the Minister for Local Government, others call him Do Nothing Dick. But one thing's for sure, the Honourable Richard Wynne MP has disgraced all Victorians by failing to act on Brimbank Council. Now, his poor ministerial performance has given rise to a new theatre performance inspired by last month's debate in the State Parliament. I hope you will enjoy the Sunshine Players performing The Minister for Local Government. Order! Order! The afternoon session is about to start and the first speaker is Mr Finn, Western Metropolitan. What we have at Brimbank, a council which has declared war within itself and has declared war on its residents. I hope that Mr Wynne, the Minister for Local Government, will not live up to his nickname of Do Nothing Dick and will move very quickly to sack this council, appoint an administrator and hold an inquiry into what is happening. In particular, the roles of three non-councillors who seem to have more significant influence on what happens within the council. Ms Hartland, Western Metropolitan. We have all heard the allegations about corruption in Brimbank over many years. The allegations are serious enough to warrant an investigation. I call upon the Minister to announce an independent investigation into the conflict of interest issues at Brimbank Council. Mr Guy, Northern Metropolitan. Unfortunately, one of the worst examples of local government in Victoria is of course the city of Brimbank. The city of Brimbank borders on embarrassing, disgrace, scandalous and outrageous. The Brimbank Council meeting Mr. Finn and I witness was a complete disgrace. To say that Councillor Suleiman and her supporters behaved in a disgraceful manner is an understatement. It was a complete outrage. There were three policemen in attendance at the meeting in case it got out of hand. Mr. Seats, member for Key Law. I grieve today on behalf of the people in the city of Brimbank, particularly because of Natalie Suleiman, who is a Robert Mugabe of Brimbank. She runs Brimbank with her supporters, the convicted fraudster Andrew Theopanis, who was in jail for three years for fraud. The other twice convicted supporter Charlie Apap and the standover man Haki Suleiman, who controlled Brimbank. They are controlling Brimbank and those councillors that form the majority in Brimbank. Now we cross over to question time, and the first question comes from Mr Finn. I ask, will the Minister inform the House of the details and any outcomes of the inquiry into the Sydenham Community Centre conducted by the Department of which he is the lead Minister? The Honourable J Madden, Minister for Planning. If Mr Finn feels strongly about any of these issues, he should refer them to the Minister for Local Government. So I welcome Mr Finn's question. And if he feels strongly about these matters, I encourage him to refer them to the local government minister. Mr Guy. My question is to the Minister for Planning. Given the allegations of corruption and gross political patronage that are occurring at the Brimbank City Council, I ask, will the Minister now order an independent review of all the planning decisions made by the Brimbank Council over the past three years, and if not, why not? The Honourable J. Madden. It is never good to see any local government squabbling over any issues, particularly if they are personal issues. As I have mentioned on a number of occasions in this chamber, if people have concerns about the behaviour or performance of any local government, they should refer them to the local government minister in the normal way and the local government minister can consider those accordingly. Mr Finn. Given that the Department of Planning and Community Development did in fact commission an inquiry into the Sydenham Community Centre, will the Minister now admit that he misled this House when he tried to handball responsibility for this inquiry to the Minister for Local Government? The Honourable J Madden. I will say it again, Mr Finn, if you want to listen. 
I do not have responsibility for each and every portfolio within that department. As I said in my previous answers, I say to Mr Finn, and I hope he takes it on board, that if he has an issue in relation to these matters, then I encourage him to go to the Minister for Local Government so they can be followed up. With question time over, we resume the debate with Mr Finn. If I were a believer in reincarnation, I would have to ask what dreadful deeds the people of Brimbank have committed in a past life to deserve the lunatics who currently control their city council. Brimbank Council is a hive of everything representative government should not be. The state government will not lift a finger to protect those afflicted by the Brimbank Council. The Brumby government is terrified to initiate an inquiry into Brimbank Council because it just does not know onto which ministerial desk such an investigation will lead. The council is a political cesspit and this level of corruption demands the full force of a wide-ranging, independent, anti-crime commission inquiry. The people of Brimbank and those Labour hacks who allegedly represent them both deserve nothing less. That was the Sunshine Players performing the Minister for Local Government, inspired by the Victorian Hansard for August 2008. Where was the minister, you ask? Well, that's what we all want to know. Now, back to the controversial Eddington plan, which could see up to a thousand homes demolished to make way for a privatised toll road in Sunshine. Bringbank Mayor Sam David has repeatedly lied to the public about his knowledge of the plan, so it's time now to hear from some of the residents. So this is going to affect the quality of life to the entire residential area, basically from Sunshine all the way through to Kensington. We need to band together to fight the Brumby government and the big businesses that are pushing for this tunnel on tollway. It's very clear it's not what the people want. How will we fight it? Well, the answer is, if any of you are old trade unionists, you organise and that's what you do. It's not just the houses that are going to be affected that people might lose. It's the repercussions to the entire area of Brimbank. It's against the interests of all of us, right? But what surprised me is um, the way the city council deal with this one. So I have just read somewhere that the council have officially support yeah. the proposal. Yeah. How long are they going to cut the train line to Sunshine for? Mm. Because you can't get four lanes of traffic under Tottenham Gate. It, it's, it's really dangerous. You go to Flagstaff Station and someone's going to get killed there. It's just total chockers. If a train gets cancelled, you're in trouble. Um, that's the sort of situation you're in. We have no answers about any questions. This fight is for all of the residents and people of the west suburbs because it's, it is setting the future of how, how the western suburbs are being treated but also the future for our overall public transport system. Be a whistleblower. The best way to stop corruption in local government is to blow the whistle. The Whistleblowers Protection Act is administered by the Victorian Ombudsman and is designed to protect whistleblowers. Whistleblowing is still the best way to expose corrupt conduct in local government or the substantial mismanagement of public resources. If you know of any mismanagement of Bingbang Council facilities, please drop us a line or contact Ombudsman Victoria. Our letter this month is among the growing number of calls to appoint an administrator at Bringbank Council. Published in the Bringbank Leader on August the 19th, it comes from Name Withheld of North Sunshine. I certainly agree that an administrator should be brought in to run Brimbank, sooner rather than later, as it's time we close down this circus. It's been going on far too long, with the ratepayers being treated as zeros, and the council is looking after themselves instead of the needs of Brimbank. Sunshine Matters was produced by the Sunshine Residents and Ratepayers Association in September 2008. For more information, go to our website www.sunshine.asn.au or write to us at PO Box 1071, Robinson, Victoria 3019. Our music this month is a soundscape of the outdoor sound sculptures and musical instruments designed by Sunshine Sound Sculptor Herbert Jercher. To find out more, go to www.soundsculptures.com.au.